Because he made him be with <laughs> his mouth <laughs> opening. <laughs> I think he looks perfect. Is um, it? You're my favorite mummy in the whole world. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we are going to make some Mother's Day cards. Why, Quinn? Because uh, it's Mother's Day on Sunday. Sunday? Now, on okay. Sunday. Okay. Now, Sunday. usually what would happen is you would be at school and you would make cards at school. However, because you're not at school at the moment, we're going to make some cards today that you can give to your mum or to someone that you really love. I'm going to give mine to Quinn's Giggy, who is my stepmum, because my mum isn't around anymore. And that's okay. So, let's get started. What you're going to need is a pencil. Do you have a pencil there, Quinn? Yes. <laughs> we are going to share an eraser. We're going to need some colored pencils and some paper. Perfect. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of paper and we are going to fold it in half. This will make the basis of our card. Easy peasy, right? How's yours looking there, Quinn? You may want to turn it over so that it opens on the top like this. And that way it opens to the left. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a big heart with our pencil right in the middle. How's yours looking? Hmm? Oh, that looks pretty good. Now, we're going to draw a little fat circle down the bottom. And we're going to draw another circle just above that. We're now going to draw two triangles coming off the bottom circle kind of looking a little bit like wings. Wings well, like a bird. Also like a bird, great. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add little ears onto the top of our character. And we're going to add a little paw onto the top of our triangle. Now that we have the shape of the character we would like to draw, we're going to take our black pencil and we're going to make a border all the way around our little character. But what we're going to do before then is we're going to take our eraser and we're going to erase the bottom of the circle so that we don't include that in our border. Here we go, Quinn. have finished our little character we want to make sure we've erased all the little lines so that we can color them in really well okay now he's got little socks on his hands we're also going to give him a little belly Ooh. we're going to give him a little space for his nose and mouth and we're going to add some little stripes on his face and we're going to give him some hair at the top to make him super cute. We're also going to add a little bit of yellow in his ears. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our red pen and we're going to add little hearts in his paws. Now we're going to color in the rest of him a nice light brown. I'm not using my pencil too hard because I don't want him to be a dark brown, I want him to be a nice light brown. Okay, now that he is all colored in, we're going to add his little face. So we're going to add little eyes, little eyelashes, we're then going to add a little nose and then we're going to add some whiskers. Easy peasy. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pinks and reds and we're going to add some hearts in our hearts. Now here you can choose to colour in your hearts or you can add some glitter or special paper that you think might look really nice inside your hearts for Mother's Day. Now I'm going to add my pink and I'm going to fill in the rest of my heart. Okay, now that we're ready, I am going to add words on the top that say Happy Now we're going to write the note in the card. Should I write in my card? Well, what do you want to say for Mother's Day? Hmm. I don't know. Dear Mum, you're the best mum in the whole world. I love you so much. You're my favourite mummy in the whole world. Let's have a look. Oh, super cute. I think these are super fun and super easy to do. My own looks completely different <laughs> and that's totally okay thank you for joining us for a another episode of craft with Gwen. and we will see you next time for some doodling cute animals quinn has selected a variety of really fun animals to draw so we will post those up later this week